Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Aish Banaish and in this video I'm just going to be updating you on my conch punch. So for those of you who haven't seen the original video, I got my conch punched at the beginning of July, so I've had it about a month and a half now. It was punched at 6mm and then stretched straight away to 8 and all I really had to say about it at the time was that it really fucking hurt. But you know, it's been a month and a half now and it's had some time to heal. It isn't completely healed. But it's healed enough for me to give you an update and kind of let you know what's been going on and how it's been. So I'm here to do just that. So in the original video I was very achy and my head hurt and my ear hurt and I still felt a little bit delirious from the procedure but I really wanted to film the video. That only continued for a couple of hours and the pain eventually died down into a dull ache. Kind of like when I originally got my conch pierced. It was just sort of like a dull ache in my ear but on like a bigger scale because this had been punched. Over the next couple of days my ear swelled so much and I eventually had to change the jewellery that I had in my punch as it wasn't long enough to accommodate the swelling. And I did get some pictures from when the plug was taken out and it was all gory and nice but yeah it wasn't pleasant to change but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be either. Obviously it was quite early to change it as it was only a couple of days after the procedure but it was necessary because my skin was starting to like go down the back of the plug like as in seal off the back hole because there wasn't enough space to accommodate the swelling so I needed to put something longer in to accommodate the swelling and I still have the longer peg in um, as there's just no need to just change it and disrupt it right now. Prior to changing it my ear had basically swollen enough that the o-ring came off and I, there wasn't space to put it back on. I had been in two minds about changing it and I wasn't sure if it was completely necessary but I'm really glad I did because it seemed to make the whole process a lot easier than it could have been. The longer conch peg also has a smaller flare at the front so it's a lot easier to clean and get round it. Although I do miss the see-through one and I like the look of it looking like it's just a complete hole in your ear. So I will probably get a longer one of those and swap that over in the next couple of weeks. But it's not urgent, like right now I'm just focused on it healing. I just want it to heal and stop hurting and stop leaking and stop being crusty. But you know, it's a process and it takes a while. Around this time is also when it started leaking loads of lymph and I'd get like huge crusties, like bigger than I've ever had on any piercings. And it was just, it was gross, but it's also like they're really tempting to pick off and you've got to be good and discipline yourself and be like, don't pick them off. The thing I found with crusties is because obviously they harden, if they harden sort of under the flare, like if my um, peg gets pushed forward and they're under the flare at the front, they become really sharp and it really hurts my ear. Like sometimes if I'm not even touching them, I can just feel like the sharpness. So then I just give my ear a good soak in the shower and use Q-tips to get under the flare to remove any of those crusties with like minimal damage to my ear. Cause they are really sharp at times. And it's just, it's really an irritating feeling. I wouldn't say, like it's unpleasant, but I think more it's irritating, like it's an itchy kind of irritation. Um, but yeah, once I do that it's usually fine and it's a lot more comfortable and I just do that whenever it gets too crusty. In terms of cleaning the modification from day to day, I've been using sterile saline. So on the first day I did give it a really good clean because I took pictures for my video and thumbnails and stuff. And then over the next couple of days I gave it a good soak in the shower before spraying with sterile saline so that you know, most of the crusties were off, but I didn't have to kind of wipe around with Q-tips or any of that kind of stuff because my ear was sore and I didn't really want to touch it. And it wasn't crusting as much at this stage, like I'd only just got it done. And then when it started crusting, I used the spray and Q-tips. And that's basically what I've been doing ever since. So just cleaning it like you would a piercing. The thing I found with cleaning and like this modification in general is that if you hit it in the wrong way it really hurts like pain just shoots through your head and I've done that a couple of times and the first time I think I just thought I you know I was gonna die like it just it just felt like an explosion had gone off in my head um but now I'm you know a lot more careful of it I'm a lot more wary of it and since the swelling's gone down a bit I've put the o-ring a bit you know further onto the peg so that it can't move around as much and that seems to minimize any discomfort. I am anxious for it to heal so that I can change the jewelry and kind of experience it 
at its full potential because right now while it doesn't sort of hurt right from day to day or whatever it still is a little bit achy and tender at times which is obviously completely normal like I had a huge hole cut out of my ear all I'm saying is I'm excited for this healing period to be over because it would be nice to see the finished result and it would be nice to not have to deal with healing it but obviously I knew what I was signing up for and it is something that I'm still glad I did and I really like it and it's literally just waiting to be able to show it off at its best so the last thing that I'm going to talk about is bumps and that relates to this because a big part of the reason I got my conch punched in the first place is that my conch piercing had bumps and they hurt and they were annoying and punching out my conch got rid of most of the bumps but there was I think like a partial bump still like on the inner side of the back of my ear and the thing with that is when I first got it done I thought it was just you know my ear normally hurting and then as it healed and you know things progressed I realised that that particular part of my ear hurt so much more like in the inner part of the back of my ear and I did get my colleague Sam to cut off my bumps using a needle and it has been so much better since I've had so much less discomfort that area does bleed a little bit from time to time but you know it's a small temporary price to pay for not having those bumps so I'm hoping it will stay this way and my bumps will remain gone but I'll have to update you when this is fully healed and I can take the jewellery out and properly inspect my ear and whether the bumps have gone because I am worried that there will be some under the flare at the front so fingers crossed it will all be okay but I will let you guys know. That's all I really have to say in this update but obviously if you have any questions just drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. As a thank you for watching I'm giving you 10% off at wholeheartedlondon.com so be sure to head over there and add anything you fancy to your basket and then enter the code YouTube at the checkout to claim your 10% off.